Hi, I'm Caleb. And I'm Brock. And welcome back to your daily video announcements. Today for lunch we have crispy chicken sandwich, baked beans, french fries, best fresh veggies, frozen treat, and a cold milk. Now let's take a look at your sports and activities week at a glance. We would like to thank our school librarian, Mrs. Saragano, for School Library Month. Now let's take a look at today's holidays. Next, let's take a quick look at your top five news stories of the day. Hi, I'm Aiden Smith and this is your top five news stories of the day. First off, India records world's highest one day surge in COVID cases. Number two, study on 35,000 women show that COVID vaccines are safe for pregnant women. Number three, town hall climate crisis meeting with political leaders and activists held on Earth Day. Number four, lurid meteor showers light up the sky over Kansas. And number five, Disney links a huge Sony deal to bring Spider-Man and other films to Disney Plus and Hulu. That's for today, and we'll see you tomorrow. And now for a quick blast to the past, let's look at today in history. <laughs> April 23rd, 1564. To be or not to be, that is the question. William Shakespeare is believed to have been born on this day in Stratford-upon-Avon, England. The poet and dramatist known as the Bard, one of the greats in world literature, dies on the same day 52 years later. 1998. James Earl Ray, confessed assassin of Martin Luther King Jr., dies at a Nashville hospital at age 70. Once behind bars, Ray later insisted he had been framed, alleging a conspiracy behind the killing of the civil rights leader. 1993. We're going to go to the public and ask him not to eat grapes. Labor leader Cesar Chavez dies in Arizona at age 66. Chavez, who organized migrant farm workers, led boycotts and strikes to secure bargaining agreements with growers. And 1954, Hank Aaron with what's then the Milwaukee Braves begins his long climb to becoming baseball's home run king. Aaron hits the first of 755 career home runs during a game against the St. Louis Cardinals. The Braves win that game 7-5. Today in History, April 23rd, Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press. Last, let's head on over to weather with Ryan Goble. Welcome back to your daily weather forecast, Ray. It's going to be cloudy, but it will develop thunderstorms later in the day with the high of 58 with the winds to the south-southeast at 10 to 15 miles an hour. With the chance of rain at 60%. Tonight, there's going to be some rain, but will remain cloudy with the low of 43 with the winds to the north at 10 to 15 miles an hour with the chance of rain still at 60%. That's all for weather. Now back to you guys in the studio. That's all for today, so make sure to stay classy, VC. Uh, Kansas has an eSports team now, baby, and they're playing Smite and League of Legends and Fortnite and Rocket League and uh, some other stupid game. But to, to raise interest in eSports, I'm, I'm here at Valley Center High School asking students what eSports they're going out for. What eSport are you going out for? I'm going out for Subway Surfers. There was this Xbox 360 game where it was like, you're a ninja and you're just like running through levels and stuff. It's pretty cool. I don't know what it's called though. Jetpack Joyride. Clash of Clans. Mario Kart 8 on Nintendo Switch. Minecraft or Ping Pong. <laughs> Kirby Returns to Dreamland. <laughs> Madden or 2K. <laughs> of blowing your nose multiple times. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Eve Online. Temple Run. Papa's Pizzeria. Wii Sports Resort. Cookie Clicker. Daisy, what eSport are you going out for?